Hello and welcome to another SY Diagnostics video and today we've got a Ford Ranger 3.2 that's got the add blue light on and the engine management light on. So as always let's put the ignition on and let's prove the fault. So put the ignition on, let's start her up. And we've got a flashing add blue light Add blue malfunction. I don't know if you can read that. The camera uh, doesn't really focus very well. And add, uh, engine management light on. Also, oil change required. So let's have a look at some fault codes and let's take the job a little bit further. Okay, so I've done a code read on it now, and in the reductant control module, we've got P P204D, reductant pressure circuit sensor high. Oh, sorry, reductant pressure sensor circuit high. Uh, and then in the PCM, we've got invalid data from ABS, uh, reductant system performance bank one. So they're the two codes I'm looking at for the moment. Uh, glow plug cylinder two open, cylinder three, cylinder four, cylinder five, and reductant system performance bank one again. So I think the issue we want to be looking at is the... Um, this one here, reductant pressure sensor circuit high. Um, so let's head on over now because, I've, well, obviously, before I jump into conclusions, um, pressure sensor circuit high. Obviously, the AdBlue is going to be not working, so that's why we've got the performance issue there, reductant system performance. So let's see if we can find any live data re um, pertaining to the reductant pressure sensor, and let's see what we can find, and let's see if we can take the job a little bit further. So what I want to look at now, I only need two uh, data PIDs up. So I've got the reductant pressure sensor in voltage and the reductant tank pressure in KPA. Straight away, you can see there we've got 0.3 of a volt on the voltage and it's showing 1.5 to 3.5 KPA. Um, I would have expected it to have seen zero, but on a known good one, it was showing 0.3 of a volt as well. And as you just see a little blip there, I'm switching the ignition off and on and it is going to 3.3 volts and just short of 8 bar so there's our problem and now I've switched on to the oscilloscope um, side of Forescan and you can see me there switching the ignition off and on off and on and it's jumping to 3.3 volts I think this is um, it's been clipped inside the ECU because um, it's obviously reading higher on the multimeter and as you can see there the ignition is kept on and then the voltage is staying high at 3.3 and showing just short of 8 bar. Incidentally in a moment I'll show you on the multimeter as well where it's actually showing 0.5 of a volt and I'm testing directly at the um, dosing control module itself and the multimeter is on a 6 volt scale which I wasn't aware of would have been auto range and it is actually going off the scale as I'm cycling the ignition on and off. Um, I did it later on on a, on a 12 volts or well, 20 volt scale and it did go up to battery voltage so this is the problem and the what we've got with the system I've now got to find out um, how and where we're actually getting the 12 volt spike okay so I found my issue that's the reductant pressure sensor you've got voltage reference at the top signal in the middle ground at the bottom and when I cycle the ignition the signal wire goes to 12 volts so it's on that multi plug there which has only got um, eight pins on it seven are populated and one of them is that wire there I think is that one where is it no sorry that one there which is vehicle power to the reductant pump assembly unit so I'm pretty certain that it's shorting the signal wire to that 12 volt wire there that plug there, C3047D, is available separately. So I'm just going to take the arch liner out, have a good look. Hopefully I might be able to see 
as short where the wire comes out and goes up across the chassis. If not, it's bed off and a new harness. So we've looked at the wiring diagram and looking at the wiring diagram and the live data, um, every now and again we can see the signal wire spike up to 12 volts. Um, didn't, wasn't, wasn't able to catch it on camera, however, it is there. And so looking at the wiring diagram, we can see there is a multi-plug for all the AdBlue pump assembly and it does have a 12 volt feed wire in there. So I'm pretty certain we need to be in this back area behind the passenger side left hand rear um, arch liner. So what I've done, I've took the arch liner out and already started to disconnect the plug, strip the wiring down. Um, no immediate issues in this area. However, just here next to the mounting point for the rear bed, the wire is chafing on the chassis. Uh, I've got a picture of it, it's not a very good picture, I'll put that up in a second for you. So what I'm hoping to do now is take out this arch liner, hopefully undo, I'll just move my light back again, and disconnect these multi-plugs here and hopefully feed the wire around this mounting point and bring it out here so I can see the, um, the amount of damage done to the wire and see if we can do a repair to it. So that's what I'm going to do next. Okay, so we've got the arch liner out and I've accessed the area and managed luckily to get the connector plugs out. Um, so I didn't have to take the bed off and turning it over there next to my finger is where the harness has been rubbing through. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to take all the sheathing off and see the extent of the damage. Okay, so we've got the wiring cut open and there's the extent of the damage. I'll put some pictures up in a second. Two wires, um, we've got the signal wire for the pressure sensor, which is our fault. And this is the power supply for the reductant reverting valve. So I can only assume that that is 12 volts because this is the brown and blue wire, which is a 12 volt supply and there's no damage to that at all. So let's get these two wires repaired, get it all loomed back up, built back up and let's see if we can fix it. Okay, so I've got two values up there. I've got the reductant pressure sensor voltage and the reductant line pressure now. Uh, this is after the fix. So let's see if we've got um, better values than what we had. If you remember last before the fix, we had the voltage with the ignition on and off would spike up to 3.3 volts uh, on the live data, but on a multimeter it would go to battery voltage and the reductant tank pressure was showing 2.5 kilopascals uh, where it should be showing zero. So let's have a look. So we're still showing 1.5 kilopascals in pressure. But I'm turning the ignition on and off now and the voltage isn't spiking. So let's um, start, well, I've had the engine running and I shut the vehicle down for a short while and what's happened, I'll just show you now, is as you can see, the AdBlue light has gone out so let's see if I can clear the fault code and start her up and see if it stays out. A little bit of concern still that the reductant pressure is uh, showing 1.5, 2.5 kilopascals, but that is a very, very low um, value anyway. So let's just stop the live data, go back to the fault codes, reset the fault codes. I'll have to cycle the ignition, that's off. Then back on again. So no fault codes there. And let's see now when I start it up if the engine light goes out. So I've got my foot on the brake. Start it up. Engine light goes out. 
and what I'll do now I'll just go and rescan it again obviously we've still got the uh, fault codes there for the glow plugs but there's no fault codes now in the um, pressure sensor side of the things in the reductant control module so what I'll do I'll get it up to temperature and let's see if we can see the pressure values and the readings of the sensor module now in fact what I'll do I can actually run that on um, on FDRS I can do a, a pressure system test or a system test where it puts it up to pressure and let's see what pressure we can see so now we're heading out on road test I've got some data values up I've not got the NOx value up um, because we're not looking at an efficiency side of things so we're currently we are looking at the tank pressure and as you see there we're at 0.5 kPa and we're going road test it's too cold at the moment we're just getting up to temperature now 54 degrees and as you can see we've got a reductant pressure voltage of 1.8 volts 5 bar line pressure and you can see the reductant, uh, in, reductant injector duty cycle um, fluctuating there so it is commanding the injector to inject um, so we'll just come back off road test now and I'm just going to go and do a code scan one more time see if anything's come back as you can see nothing's come back we've just got the glow plug fault code still there so we've had some uh, road testing there I've done a uh, 10 miles I think it is uh, just edited the live data values there for you we've gone into the fault codes and there's no fault codes that have returned uh, I've just had a quick check and there's no um, exit fault inducement procedure to follow on FDRS uh, this is generation one system so it's quite basic so I'm gonna call that a fix just a little wiring fault luckily didn't need to take the bed off or change the harness so thanks for watching and until next time thanks guys